Okay. He's been terrorizing me. <laughs> Hello. My name is Henrietta Dinkelheimer. You may recognize me from my past acting triumphs in movies such as Jerry the Wonder Dog and Whoopi, but I have recently stepped away from my acting career and discovered a new passion for paranormal investigation. Today, I am making a stop at the Murphy household in Andover, Massachusetts. Built in 1956, this house is currently home to a terrible spirit. We will see what answers we can uncover on this episode of A Dink Between Worlds. So, Kevin, what can you tell me about the spirit that you've encountered in this house? Um, his name is Brett, and he's been terrorizing me. Uh, I, I can't live like this. It's, uh, it, something's gotta stop. The ghost of this boy Brett allegedly lived in the house before Kevin moved in. This is his room. Um, I think he was about 15 years old when he passed. Um, and you know, here's a picture of him right here. If I have to move anything out of this room, I get this intense wedgy sensation in my rear end. <laughs> so I've just kind of left everything here. It, it's been so difficult. He whispers in my ear at night while I'm trying to sleep. And I haven't gotten a good rest in weeks. Now that I have talked to the homeowner, I can start bringing in my crew. First to join me is the muscles of the operation, my partner Harvey. He and I are going to take a look around to see if we can find anything suspicious before we begin the investigation. What the bail? Looks like our friend Brett didn't like going to school very much. That's a shame. Education is the key to unlocking the world. A passport to freedom. Wow. As the sun begins to set, a psychic medium friend of mine arrives to assess the energy of the house. We gave her some time to scope around and get a sense of the situation. It's very cold in here, very unfriendly. I think my cat sat on this. I hear a song. Does anyone want to Google if Randy Newman died recently? I think he's trying to say something to me. Yep, there's definitely something in there. Mm. This is a, uh, a young male, right? About 15. Okay, well, young male ghosts tend to uh, emit a sort of smell when they're angry. You know... Uh, you know... <clears throat> Axe body spray. Bingo. With this new information, we can now conduct our investigation. Brett, if you are here with us, can you please speak or make some sort of noise? All right, let's put that back. <laughs> Harvey, is there any way you can clear up that audio a bit? Can try again. Saw so, did. Ah! Harvey, no, that's expensive. Ah! Ah! Do you hear that? He's trying to communicate through the printers. The terror of the situation, as well as the smell of the axe body spray, has become too much for Harvey to handle. I quickly begin to realize that for this investigation, I'm going to need to take matters into my own hands. It's just me now. Can you talk to me? Brett? 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 So, uh, do you like Facebook? I should have stuck to acting. I 
I bet Christian Bale doesn't have to deal with the high school boy ghosts. <laughs> She isn't very good at her job. <laughs> Saw it. <laughs> Saw it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Saw it. <laughs> yeah, bro.